welcome back to the vlog i took yesterday off of vlogging i've been really trying hard to get a lot of content up for you guys as i'm sure you can tell but yesterday we just had some stuff we needed to get done around the house um our new bar stools did get delivered and we put those together so i'll have to show you those i love them i think they look really good but today we're just gonna be running some errands we do have to go to a client's today hopefully we get some good designer stuff for the business um what else i'm trying to think oh we also decided to keep the refrigerator if you guys watched my last vlog we decided we don't think it looks too big and honestly we don't want to compromise on space by getting a smaller refrigerator because we are going to be hosting a lot of holiday events here with my family so it just didn't make sense to like size down really we also went to an estate sale yesterday which was a total waste of time we only left with like five things and nothing was really great we did get like a cool dior tie but other than that, it just wasn't worth the time. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to head out soon. I do need to make some breakfast. I think I'm going to boil some eggs, but let me show you guys my outfit because I think it's so cute today. Next on my list of things to buy is a full length body mirror because I have no way to show you guys my outfits without just like setting the camera up. Um, but I'm just wearing my Aritzia bodysuit. I think this is their contour. It has such a good fabric. It's like really soft and comfortable, like spandexy. It sucks you in and everything like that. And then I paired it with these pants that I've been wanting to wear, but I didn't know how to style them. They're an Alexander Wang. They're like a denim jogger. I love the logo sides and the drawstring waist. They're super comfy, but I do think they're an older style. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to find them to link them. Um, but if I can find something similar, I'll link them down below. Spencer just got back from running some errands. He had to go get an oil change and we had a couple things to ship from our last whatnot. Um, but I'm going to head downstairs and make some breakfast because I'm getting pretty hungry also on our list of things to buy we need to run to trader joe's today or at least some sort of grocery store because this is the current status of our refrigerator we have no food so i think i'm gonna make some eggs i have an egg cooker that i like to use to make hard-boiled eggs it's like one of my favorite breakfasts i'll have it either with sriracha or sometimes i just make deviled eggs just for fun because i think they're so yummy but even eggs we only have three left so definitely need to make a grocery run Whenever the eggs are done cooking, I always put them in a little bowl of ice, like a little ice bath. I read somewhere online that this makes it easier to peel them. I don't know if that's true or not, but I've just always done it. All right, so this is my breakfast for today. I just want to show you guys how perfectly the egg cooker cooks a hard-boiled egg. I love it. Also, side note, this is the best sriracha. I pick it up at Whole Foods. It's the Yellow Bird Organic Sriracha. I actually got it to make pad thai, but I've been using it on my eggs, and it's really good. And I'm just now remembering I never showed you guys our new stools, so... Here is what they look like. I love them. I actually got them from Target, believe it or not. And I love this because it matches our living room rug perfectly. So once we have like the sectional and everything, it'll tie together nicely. And I love that it's like a cushioned seat. So it's really soft. And as you can see, Lucy's a big fan. She loves to lay under anything. So anything she can find to crawl under, she will. Banana good, Lucy. <laughs> so we just finished up with breakfast, got my shoes on, and we are about to head out of the house. We're going to a client's house first, and then I think the grocery store is there anywhere else we're gonna go. Um, we'll see. Well, you didn't take the morning to the vlog yet. Hello, Spencer's people. back, we had breakfast, and we're heading out. Come here, Luce. Be a good girl. <laughs> So cute. Oh, you hit her in the it. face. She missed it. <laughs> Bye, Luz. Love you. Be good. Do we just left our
their clients. It went really well. We have so many amazing designer pieces. Um, we're about to go grab a bite to eat, but I wanted to show you guys just a few things that we got because I know you're always curious. The first bag is a Dior saddle bag. We actually got three different Dior saddle bags. This one's just kind of like fabric, probably the least exciting. Um, we love Dior saddlebags. They sell really well. The other two though, they're amazing. Are amazing. They're limited edition and they're embellished. The first one is black and it's all embellished. As you can see, I love the cute little mini size. I think it's so fun. You could wear it to an event because of the satin. It's very sleek and classy. So that's the second one. And then the third one is very similar. It's also a limited edition and all embellished, but it's this really pretty champagne color. I'm obsessed with this. I mean, Imagine wearing this with like a nice gown. It's so cool. I've never even seen Dior saddle bags yeah, that are so elegant. I'm obsessed. But anyways, we're about to go grab a bite to eat. I think we're gonna go to Shake Shack. And I'm really excited because I haven't had it in so long. We used to have one near our apartment in Brooklyn. Yeah, we used to go all the time. Yeah, we did. It's so good. Their fries and burgers are like the best. Are you gonna get a shake? I can share one maybe. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> All right, so I just got everything taken out of the bags. I'm gonna show you guys everything I got. I'm gonna try and go quickly because this is the largest Trader Joe's haul I've ever had. <laughs> but we're starting from nothing in the refrigerator, so that's why we stocked up. We got eggs, Spencer got this pesto chicken wrap. I've never had that before, so I don't know, maybe it's good. And then I find that their ginger shots are some of the cheapest, so we stocked up on those. Got a couple turmeric shots, and then I heard these are a really healthy alternative for like a tortilla shell for tacos. I got some Greek yogurt. This is my favorite tomato soup, and I also got some bone broth for my orzo pasta. We got our favorite sour cream and onion corn puffs. These things are literally the best. They're one of our favorite snacks. We got this power of the seven greens juice, baby spinach for smoothies, our favorite dark chocolate peanut butter cups, avocado tzatziki dip. This is really good with the shawarma chicken. This is what it looks like. We got two of them so we can have it. Um, it's one of our favorite dinner meals. We got some tabbouleh with some hummus. We thought that would be really good with eggs, kind of make something like we used to get at Cafe Mogador. And then another one of our favorite snacks is ciabatta bread with this fresh mozzarella cheese. It's like, has this marinade in it, topped with this bruschetta sauce, so, so good. Got some peanut butter, lime, feta cheese, mini cucumbers, zucchini, apples, bananas, lemons, tomatoes. We got some other meat back here, filet mignon. We got a bag of frozen chicken breasts, regular chicken tenders. Um, this is crushed garlic and ginger. The garlic's really nice to put over steaks if you're grilling and the ginger is good in a smoothie. We got two boxes of these organic jasmine rice. We eat this all the time. So went ahead and grabbed two boxes of that. Acai packets for smoothies, this sweet Italian style chicken sausage. This pizza is really good too. It's organic roasted vegetable pizza. If you guys love veggies, this is so, so yummy. Spencer loves the Trader Joe's Bomba. So got some of those. And then we pretty much just stocked up on sides. We love broccoli and asparagus. So I got three bags of each of those. We got salted edamame. And then we just had this for the first time like last month. And it's so good. I think it's like one of their number one sellers. So if you guys haven't tried this mandarin orange chicken, you need to. It's literally so bomb. And if you have it with this like microwavable jasmine rice, it's such an easy dinner and it's so, so yummy. But I need to put all this away before it goes bad but literally the largest Trader Joe's grocery haul I've ever done. <laughs> I just chugged that coffee way faster than I should have. I didn't even realize that it was eight o'clock at night because the sun is still out. It does not feel that late at all. I feel like the sun has been staying out for so much longer than it usually does. 
Um, but we've just been hanging out with Lucy, kind of relaxing. I was on the phone with my mom, and we're actually gonna head to my sister's here in a little bit. She just like invited the family over to go hang out, have a fire, that sort of thing. So I think we're gonna head over to her house, but I wanted to show you guys some of the other stuff we got because we got some really awesome stuff. It's basically all Chanel, Emilio Pucci, and Louboutin, I think. Um, so the first thing is this little Chanel tweed dress. It's a very small size. Um, just a black dress. You can wear it casually or formally. And then we got a couple Chanel tops. This one's just kind of like a rib knit t-shirt. It's very stretchy, so honestly, I don't know what size this is. I would still consider it like an extra small, maybe a small. It has this like little lacy ruffle pattern down here with the CC charm. And then this is probably my favorite piece. I think it's so cute. It's so dainty and small, but I feel like it's really kind of Y2K and in style right now. But it's this little lace cami Chanel. It's got like the pleated trim at the bottom and then the little CC charm here. Super cute. So that was probably my favorite clothing piece we got. We also got this purple Chanel sweater dress. Not my style, but it's still Chanel. So like obviously we weren't going to pass on it. And then this skirt is still brand new with tags, which is so crazy. Chanel, it has the CC zipper pull. I'm trying to get it to focus here. Um, these little pockets here, but yeah, like I said, still brand new with tags. And the skirt retailed for $790. So excited we got that in. And then this is the little Emilio Pucci hat. It's kind of like a newsboy hat and the pattern's really fun. I feel like Amelia Pucci has made such a comeback. I've been seeing it all over Instagram lately. And this is also brand new with tags. And then we only got one pair of shoes and they're actually men's. And Spencer tried them on, but unfortunately they were a little too small for him because they're such a good style. So if any of you ladies have a man that is a size, let's see, what size are these? Size 42 in Louboutins, you need to scoop these up because I know they're gonna go fast. They're such a good style. These are like, the ultimate summer shoe, the white with the like raffia trim is everything. Kind of like beachy vibes. I'm literally obsessed with these. Like I wish that they were women's kind of. <laughs> these would have looked so good on Spencer. So I'm sad they don't fit him, but they're so, so nice. So I'm glad we got those. And they also come with the original box. And I still can't get over the fact that we got three Dior saddlebags. Those mini ones are so freaking cute. Um, but yeah, we're pretty much just going to be getting ready to go to my sister's. I changed into something a little more comfortable. I have on this sweatshirt. It's free people movement and it's like the best material. It's super light and flowy. Um, I wanted to wear something kind of light, but also long sleeves because I don't know if we're going to be outside like by the fire and really what the temperature is. It was hot here today, but I think it's supposed to get a little colder, like maybe 75 and if we're sitting outside and the sun's down, I feel like it'll be cool. So I threw this on my Lululemon sweatpants and yeah, I'm just hanging out in this room. Eventually I want to turn this room into my walk-in closet. That's like my goal with this room. Um, definitely not something we're going to be working on anytime soon, but I want to get like shelving all through here. And I think it would be so fun to just walk in here and be able to see all of my clothes on display. So I've just been looking at all sorts of things on Pinterest, trying to decide how I can make that dream come to life. I know they also have like custom closet installations, So we may end up having to do something like that, depending on the dimensions of the wall. Honestly, I just haven't even had any time to look into it because everything has been so, so crazy, but that's definitely a goal of mine. Also, we wanna do like the fireplace downstairs. And I mean, there's just like a hundred different projects that we just need to like take one thing at a time, but we're still trying to get settled in and just work on getting the basic furniture. You guys know it's been a whirlwind between everything coming damaged and like not fitting that sort of thing. So we're just trying to take it slow one step at a time because we're also trying to get work done and just like settle in and also live life because it's summer. We just moved here. I want to spend time with my family. Also trying to get work done. It's like trying to find that right balance because we just moved here and still trying to settle in and figure out everything and I don't know we still have so much furniture shopping to do things like that so I'm sure this weekend we'll probably do a little more shopping I want to get a full-length body mirror that is like number one on my list other than that we just need like basic stuff like we need more bath mats still um I'm pretty good on like hand towels so 
I don't know. I feel like this weekend is going to be the weekend of getting organized, looking and seeing everything we need to pick up, doing a little bit of shopping for it, and also just cleaning up. I have so much laundry to do um, and just like those sorts of things. Like I still need to switch out the utensil drawer to the new like organizer. I still haven't done that. The pantry still has stuff that needs put away. I need to organize those spice jars. Like the list goes on and on. So hopefully this weekend we can kind of slow down and get some of those things checked off our list. But I don't know we'll see anyways we're gonna go ahead to my sisters we may stop and pick up some high noon first those are like our new favorite alcoholic drink we don't really drink much but if we do it was usually white claws but now we're on a high noon kick they're really good and i feel like they're not as artificial tasting as a white claw so that's been our new go-to but anyways we need to go it's getting late and the sun is finally starting to set <laughs> 